Welcome to Ginger John's online marketing tutorials. Now today we're going to be looking at how to build your own Amazon affiliate store. Now the best way to do this, or the way I've done it, and to get something which looks like what I've got on the screen just now, we need to use a thing called WordPress. We also need to register a domain name and a hosting account. So from steps one to three, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, here's a little tour of my site in Retrotech, which basically has the latest and best in fashion, retro gear, and tech accessories. Okay, now, you can have it exactly laid out like this, obviously, with your own products in mind. And you can also have your own blog, where you can blog about all your products and then post them out to social media. These are all things that we'll get onto in later steps, but this is just a quick tour of what yours is going to look like in the end. Okay, now on the front page, you do have extras like your featured products, best selling. Okay, now these can be scrolled through, see my featured products, and obviously the blog posts as well. Now you will need to purchase a few items in order to create this site. Now the first of those items is going to be your domain name. Okay, now that's going to cost £1.10 for the year, as long as you haven't registered anything with this provider before. Okay, now the second one is hosting. And with a coupon code, which I'll give you later, you'll be able to get that for your first month for just one penny. And after that, it is about $4, depending on the package you take, which is roughly about 2 £3. Pounds. Okay, and then the next thing, you will need to get the premium plugin and theme which I have a bundle pack and a link for you to follow and that's $66 which works out at £47.62 so for basically less than £50 you can set up a site that looks exactly like this now that last purchase is for a plugin which is basically a premium plugin and it is a lifesaver, it is great basically what it does is it goes to Amazon, gets all the products you need brings them back, fills your site with products, and it makes it so easy for the customer. They just pick the products on your site, put them in the basket as normal, and as they go to check out, instead of checking out on your site, it automatically transfers them to Amazon, a few clicks, and that's them checked out on Amazon. And you can start earning commissions straight away. Okay, now in this part of the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up your Amazon associate account. Okay, now if you've already got one of these, you can skip this part. Okay, now basically a wee explanation of what an affiliate is. You advertise or promote Amazon products on your site, and then you earn commissions for any that are sold. Okay, now that's a basic explanation as to what an affiliate is. Okay, so to get to Amazon Associates, I need you to click on the link above. Uh, I've highlighted it in the address bar. Okay, and then I need you to go to the Amazon Associates accounts as shown here and click on join for free. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to enter your email address. You just need to click I am a new customer and then sign in to secure server. Okay, now I've done that there. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay, now once you're logged in, you'll now have to put in your details to create an account. The first of which you need to put in your name and then the next step is to put in your email address and retype it to ensure it's correct. And the same with your password. Enter it once and then retype it. Again, once you've done that, you just click create an account and you'll be taken through to the next page, okay, which should be your Amazon Associates Central. Now, on this page, you may have to fill out such things as payments, tax information, etc. in order to be sure that you get paid for your commissions. And that's it, you've created an Amazon Associates account. Now the next part I would advise to head over to johnbrharkins.com forward slash woozone bundle pack. Okay, now that will give you straight through to the page that we're looking at, which will allow you to purchase the theme and the premium plugin. You need to register an account to purchase the bundle pack. And in order to do that, you need to click create an account, enter your first name, your last name, and your email address, and then you just set up your Envato account. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to go away and log into mine and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that's me logged in and the first thing you want to do is go down to make a deposit. Okay, now you need to do this in order to buy the bundle pack. The bundle pack is $66, so you can either put in $80 or $70. Yeah, I'm going to select 80 Okay, now I've already purchased it, so I'm not going to make a deposit at this time. Um, but I will show you what to do. Okay, now you make your deposit using either PayPal or Skrill. Okay, now if you go up to the top. Now once you've made your purchase, you need to go to the tab Downloads in order to access your purchase. Okay, so you click that. And as you can see, you've got two options, download or install. Now you don't have to worry about install. Just click on download. Okay, now you see that downloading in the bottom left hand corner. Now you want to download all files and documentation because there'll be documents which have like your license number, etc. on them and you'll need them for later, later reference, especially for the theme. You need a couple of short codes off the theme, which is contained in the documentation. Okay, now you want to, if this will be the first time, I've obviously downloaded this a few times. Um, so what I'm going to do is just explain to you what you need to do. You need to take that folder and place it onto your desktop so it's easier to find. Now that's you done all the preparation that you can do just now. What you're going to do is you're going to move that file to your desktop, once it's on your desktop we can just leave it there just now and we'll get back to that at a later stage. Okay, but that's you now set up as an Amazon affiliate and we now have all the plugins and theme that we need to make our own Amazon affiliate store. Now the best thing to do is now move on to step one and move through steps one, two and three 